Hazrat Mirza Hulam Ahmad, the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, passed away after a short illness at Lahore on the 26th of May 1908. At that fateful hour in the history of religion and of mankind, before his sacred remains were reverently committed to the earth at Qadian on the 27th of May, his foremost and most devoted disciple, Hazrat Hakim Molana Nureddin, an eminent divine, a star in the spiritual firmament, a great lover of the Holy Quran and an outstanding and reputed physician, was acclaimed as his spiritual successor, and the members of the movement swore allegiance to him in his capacity of Khalifa tul Masih. This is a humble effort to furnish a short account of his life and character. Hazrat Mulana Nuruddin was born in 1841 at Bira, Punjab which is now a part of Pakistan. He was the 34th in direct male lineal descent from Hazrat Umar, the second Khalifa of the Holy Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him. Hazrat Khalifa Tul Masul Awal ke walid ka naam Hazrat Hafiz Ghulam Rasul tha aur aapki walda ka naam Hazrat Sayyida Noor Bakht Sahiba tha. Hazrat Hafiz Ghulam Rasul sahab ka shajra nasab agar hum piche ki taraf jayen dekhen تو وہ حضرت عمر سے جا کر ملتا ہے اور حضرت سیدہ نور بخت صاحبہ کا شجر نصب آپ کی والدہ کا شجر نصب جو ہے وہ حضرت علی سے جا کر ملتا ہے اور آپ کو خاندان میں قرآن سے اتنا عشق تھا تمام لوگوں کو کہ اگر ہم آپ کے خاندان میں کیونکہ حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح الاول خود بھی حافظ تھے اور اگر ہم ان کی پشت میں پیچھے کی طرف جا کر دیکھیں تو دسویں پش تک تمام افراد جو تھے خاندان کے وہ حافظ قرآن تھے مولانا نور الدین's initial education came from his mother who taught him the holy Quran with translation and instructed him in elementary primers on Muslim jurisprudence حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح الاول نے ایک جگہ اپنی جب آپ قادیان میں ترکیف لے آئے تو ایک دفعہ یہ بھی فرمایا کہ اگر میرے والد آج زندہ ہوتے تو مجھے یقین ہے کہ مجھے اعلیٰ تعلیم کے لیے امریکہ بھی بھیجتے تو اس طرح سے آپ کے والد جو تھے ایک بہت ہمدرد اور محبت کرنے والے انسان تھے اپنی اولاد کے ساتھ ہی ریسیو ہز ارلی ایجوکیشن فرام پبلک اسکولز ان لاہور اینڈ رول پنڈی ان رول پنڈی ہی اسٹارٹ فار دا ڈپلوما ان ایجوکیشن ہی ڈیڈ سو ریمارکیبلی ویل ان ڈپلوما ایگزامنیشن دیٹ ایٹ دی ارلی ایج آف ٹوینٹی ون ہی واز اپوائنٹیڈ ہیڈ ماسٹر آف این انگلش اسکول ان پنڈ دادن خان a town a few miles from Bera, across the river Jhelum. He held that office for four years, after which his quest for knowledge took him all over India. So after leaving this assignment, then he embarked uh, on his uh, traveling in order to gain more knowledge. So he traveled to Lahore, he went to Delhi, he also went to Rampur and Lucknow and Bhopal. During these traveling, He was in need of so many things and there were some problems as well. But uh, this was the, the way of Allah with the, this great servant of Islam, Hadrat Maulana Nuruddin Sahib, that Allah Almighty was always there to help him. At the age of 25, he traveled to the cities of Mecca and Medina. توجه حضرة الخليفة الأول رضي الله عنه في سن الشباب في بداية سن الشباب إلى مكة والمدينة لأداء فريضة الحج ومن أجل تعلم علم الحديث وكان يود أن يلتقي بمجموعة من الشيوخ والعلماء الأفاضل الذين بالفعل قد التقى بهم ودرس على أيديهم طبعا رحلته إلى مكة والمدينة هي كانت جزءا من رحلته التعليمية العظيمة التي درس فيها الكثير من العلوم وأصبح فيما بعد عالما في الدراسات القرآنية وفي اللغات وفي الطب الطبيعي. He returned from Arabia through Delhi, uh, where he had um, you know arranged to send some books because which he has brought from Arabia. But anyway, ultimately he reached Bhera, and uh, there he managed to uh, make some arrangements for. Preaching of Islam because he was very enthusiastic about uh, the Tabligh. 
Molana Nur ad-Din came to be acknowledged as an outstanding physician of his time. In diagnosis, he had no equal. His striking improvisations fully justified themselves. Hazrat Khalifa Tul Masih Al Awal ne, jahan dusi talimat hasil ki, fikao hadis ki, aur Quran ki, aur sab ki, wahan apne tib mein bhot aala makam hasil kiya. Aur tib mein apka itna naam hua Hindustan mein aur barwa sadir Asia mein ke apko Hakimul Ummat ke naam se pukara jaane laga. Aur Hindustan ke girdo nawah se, duro nazdik se, be shumar log आपका नाम सुनकर और आपकी तारीफ सुनकर हिकमत की तारीफ सुनकर आपके पास से लाज के लिए आते थे लेकिन आपका अमीरों और गरीबों से एक जैसा सलूक होता था यह नहीं होता था कि कोई अमीर आ गया तो आपने उसको प्रेफरेंस दी आपने उसको पहले बुला लिया या पहले उसका इलाज किया नहीं इन 1876 ही वेंट टू कश्मीर एट द बेहेस्ट ऑफ हिज हाइनेस द महाराजा रणबीर सिंह एंड रिमेन देयर फॉर 15 इयर्स एज हिज रॉयल फिजिशियन عندما كان حضرته يمارس الطب بصفته طبيب الملك أو الطبيب الملكي لملك كشمير مهراج كشمير كان في هذه الأثناء يعلم أفراد البلاط الملكي الذين كانوا من المسلمين العلوم الإسلامية المختلفة أيضا المهراج بنفسه كان قد تعلم على يديه الكثير فيما يخص الإسلام حتى إنه قد أخذ على يديه تقريبا نصف ترجمة القرآن الكريم. هذا خليفة المسيح الأول كي يادشت بهت تيز أو بهت أشي يادشتي. إيه ده فاز خليفة المسيح الأول كسي سفر بر جاره ته جو هاتي كي بر نكاس سفر تا. أو بت تقريبا تيس دين كا سفر تا. تكا يك مهينا لغنا تا. أوس دوران آبني قرآن الكريم حفظ كرنا شو كر ديا هاتي بر بات كر. اور آپ نے اس سفر کے دوران ہی ایک مہینے کا دوران آپ نے قرآن کریم کے چودہ سپارے حفظ کر لی جبکہ آج کے دور میں میرا خیال ہے بہت ذہین انسان بھی ایک مہینے کے اندر چودہ سپارے حفظ کرنا اس لیے بہت مشکل ہے So it was a great achievement that within one month while he was in journey he was memorizing the holy Quran which he accomplished later on and finally he memorized the whole Quran by heart As a matter of fact he was greatly in love of reading the books. He had his own big library. He was very fond of the books. Wherever he was able to get anyone, he would always get it and utilize it. Once it is mentioned that a very wonderful book was, came to his hand. It was a big book of 700 pages, but the time at his disposal was only six hours. So within those, that short time, six hours, he went through all the pages of the book and benefited from it thoroughly. His interest in books was not only limited to religion. He had in fact read all the works of Shakespeare in Arabic. He was very serious about the service to religion, especially to make preaching among the other people of the religions. And for that purpose, he, whenever he came into contact uh, with any association, which was um, which planned to preach the religion of Islam, he became a fan of that actually. So during this time, anjuman e himayat islam was one of the associations which was set up by some of the zealous Muslims in India. So he got associated with that anjuman which was called anjuman himayat islam Maulana Hakim Nuruddin had by this time acquired great repute as an outstanding physician, a learned divine, a discerning mystic, and an exemplary believer. He had for long been seeking for a perfect spiritual guide and spiritual perceptor. In 1884, he came to know of Hazrat Mirza Hulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, through one of his announcements, and felt a strong urge to visit him. <laughs> 